In a previous tutorial we've seen how we can easily create 3D solid objects uh, from the primitives and this results in some regular geometric shapes. But there are many situations where we want to create a solid object with a non-uniform plan form. For example, if I were going to uh, use the polyline tool here, A for arc, and just draw some non-uniform shape, alpha line, and C to close, like that. There's my outline. And uh, what I want is a solid object formed by that plan form. Well, I can do that using the extrude command up here on the modeling panel. Uh, click extrude, select the outline you've uh, created, and uh, right click to complete the selection, and then immediately we can drag that plan form up to create a solid object like so. And if we just use the view cube to take a quick look at that, you can see that we've got a nice solid object formed by the plan form I just drew with that polyline. That's great. I'm just going to uh, delete that. We can also use extrude to create surfaces. So if I drew, if I draw another polyline here, Again, maybe I'll use an arc segment like that, and perhaps another like that. If I use extrude, now notice that this polyline is not closed, it's an open polyline. If I use extrude on this object, right click to complete the selection, you'll see that this time what I get is not a solid, but a surface. This surface has no depth to it at all and uh, if I hover over it you'll see that we get a surface extrusion object type. Okay now as we've seen we can use the extrude command to create solids or even surfaces from objects. If I extrude a circle I get a cylinder, uh, if I extrude a, uh, an open polyline I get a, a surface. So I can create quite good um, uh, object-based extrusions using extrude. But there are many situations where the shape I want to extrude is not easily uh, definable by a single object. Here's four objects which act as boundaries defining a space within them. And this uh, plan form is described using a spline, a circle, a polyline with an arc segment, and a line. Now, clearly, we can't create a single closed object using those um, items. You can't mix splines and polylines, for example. So, how do we go about doing that? Well, we could use something called a region to create a uh, plan form within that space. If I wanted to do that, what I could do is, first of all, trim up those objects so that I'm left with just the outline like that and then I could go to the draw panel on the fly out there there's a little option called region I select region select all the objects which are now joined end to end which form that space right click and what I get is a planar solid a curious kind of object it has no thickness, but as you can see, it has a, a solidity to it. Now I can use the extrude command to extrude that region. Now that's all fine and well, but actually it's a little bit of a faff. I've got to do trimming, I've got to create a region, all before I can extrude. If I just undo back to my previous set of objects, we have a really nice shortcut. We don't have to create a region, we don't have to trim up. We can just use the press pull tool. Press pull is on the modeling panel of the ribbon here. Click press pull and press pull works by finding an internal boundary. You can see just moving my cursor into that space 
has uh, found the boundary. All I need to do now is click to confirm the boundary and immediately I can create that same solid object which previously took us a little bit of effort to create. Now you may well be wondering why the press pull tool is called press pull. All we've done so far is to pull an extrusion from uh, a boundary. But if I were to just draw a box like that and then perhaps I was to draw a rectangle on the front face of that box in order for this to work correctly you need to ensure that the uh, dynamic UCS is uh, turned on. Uh, draw a rectangle on the front face of that box like uh, like that. If I then go to press pull once again as I move over that uh, or into that space it finds the boundary. If I click to define the boundary like that you can see that I can pull as we did previously but I can also push in to the object and uh, if I do that and then click what we'll find is that we've pushed into that space there and if I just use the view cube to show you that you can see that we now have a little slot in the box like so and uh, in fact I can continue to uh, use press pull to do various uh, um, operations on this box for example if I were to uh, draw a circle on uh, this face of the box like that I could use press pull to pull that circle out and what I actually get here is an addition to the whole object you can see as I mouse over that the whole object highlights it's a single object I've pulled that circle out of the original box and if I were to draw another circle on the same face here but this time to just overlap it so it comes out of the top of the box there if I then go to press pull again it finds the boundary and if I pull or press that right through the uh, the object we're working with you'll see that we actually get a complete slot cut right through the object like that and uh, indeed if I just uh, were to draw a circle on the top face of that box like that I could also use press pull to extrude right down through the object like that to get if I just go to a top view here you can see that we've got a hole, a cylindrical hole cut right through that box. So press pull is a very versatile tool and it can be used for pressing and pulling objects, uh, forms, shapes, outlines from an existing solid object and the result is a complete single solid which as you can see can be um, very complex in nature. One final point that's worth making here is that press pull uh, can extrude faces of objects without needing to define any kind of outline. Uh, so for example, if we wanted to extrude this, the whole of this top face here, we could use press pull to do that. If I just click on press pull, without having defined any uh, boundary, you can see that press pull finds the boundary defined by that top face. If I click to confirm that, drag up, you can see that I've immediately been able to extrude that face. And the same is true of any other face also. If I click that and find this face here, not only can I extrude but I can also or pull, I can also press back like that. And uh, you can see that I can make very fine adjustments here to various faces using press pull like that. Very, very useful tool.